Hey guys, we're going to look at our next transformation, which is a reflection. We're going to answer the question, what is a reflection and how do we write the rule for a reflection on the coordinate plane? So a reflection is a flip over a line of reflection to create a mirror image. Each point is going to be equal distance from the line of reflection on the opposite side. This year we will just be reflecting over the X and the Y axis. Whenever you get into geometry in 10th grade, you will learn how to reflect over more lines of reflection. But this year it's just over the X and the Y axis. And these are the rules. To reflect over the X axis, you change the sign of the Y value. And to reflect over the y-axis, you change the sign of the x value. So let's do a couple of reflections and see if we notice that pattern. So it says reflect figure ABC over the x-axis and fill in the table. So here's the x-axis. Here is triangle ABC. I already filled in the points right here. We are ready to reflect. So... A is two away from the x-axis, so if I reflect it over the x-axis, it will be two away right here. Same thing with C, I'm reflecting it over the x-axis, it's two away, so it'll be two away on the other side. And then B is four away, so it'll be four away on the other side as well. And there is our reflected triangle. Both of these triangles are mirror images across our line of symmetry, the x-axis, and they're the same distance away from it. So let's record our new images. So the original A was at 2, 2. Our A prime is at 2, negative 2. Original B was at 3, 4. Our new B is at 3, negative 4. And then our original C was at 4, 2, and our new C is at 4, negative 2. So you can see the pattern here. Our Y values just changed signs. So it says, what patterns do you notice between the original and two new coordinates? What is the rule for a reflection over the X axis? So the pattern we noticed was the y values changed signs. And the rule for that is our x coordinate stayed the same and we do a negative to show you change the sign of the y value. All right, let's look at number two. It says reflect the figure over the y axis and fill out the table. So here is our original triangle X, Y, Z. I already filled out the original coordinates. Now let's reflect it over the Y axis. So X is four away from the Y axis here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four away on the other side. There's our new X. Z was two away. It'll be two away on the other side. And then Y is three away, it'll be three away on the other side as well. So there is our new triangle. Our new X is at five, one. Our new Y is at three, four. And our new Z is at two, two. So we, okay, so we reflected over the Y axis and as you can see, our X values changed signs. So last time our Y values changed signs, this time whenever we reflect over the Y axis, the X values change signs. And the rule for that is opposite X, Y. We changed the sign of the X value, but the Y value stayed the same, just like we saw in here. Okay, now we're gonna be given reflections and we need to identify it. So this one says, does the transformation below show a reflection over the X axis or the Y axis? Well, it is reflecting over that line, which is the Y axis. 
And the rule for that is our y values stayed the same, but the x values became opposite. So it's opposite x, y. Okay, number four, it says, does the transformation show a reflection over the x-axis or the y-axis? This time it is over the x-axis. And when we reflect over the x-axis, our x values stay the same, but the y values become opposite. So the rule is x opposite y. Okay, number five says James thinks the rule for a reflection over the x-axis is negative xy. Ramsey thinks the rule for a reflection over the x-axis is x negative y. Who is correct and why? So whenever I'm given problems like this, I like to draw a little picture. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. And let's think about a point here, and we are reflecting over the x-axis. So I reflect over the x-axis. They're in the same position on the x-axis, but it's the y values that are gonna stay the same, or that are gonna change. The x values are the same, but the y values change signs. So the correct rule is the one that Ramsey thought. So we would say Ramsey is correct because y values change signs in a reflection over the x-axis. All right, number six, it says, Brooke thinks the reflection point of A over the y-axis would transform to the point negative 8, 10, since the rule is negative x, y. Is she correct, y, or y not? So we're talking about a reflection over the y-axis, and that rule is negative x, y. And Brooks thinks that means you would go from negative 8, 10 to negative 8, 10. This negative sign does not always mean negative. It means opposite. So Brooke should have changed her negative 8 to a positive 8, but she didn't. So we would say she is not correct. To apply the rule opposite x, y, you have to change the sign. So that means that our new A prime should have been at positive eight, 